Hi, I'm David McLean. I'm a Sony artisan and I've been a professional photographer for the last 25 years. During that time I've worked for a huge range of editorial publications, including seven feature stories for National Geographic magazine. The A99 is rugged in your hand and it's light on your shoulder. I'm pretty sure it's one of the lightest cameras in its class. It has a, a full frame 24.3 megapixel sensor. It's just beautiful. It faithfully records what you see with the human eye. Photographers are always looking for latitude and exposure. At the auto HDR and the DRO mode, you can get a lot of latitude without thinking very much about it. So when you're in situations that demand latitude, at the click of a button, have it. Zeiss has one of the best reputations in the industry for glass. It has more of a human feel to it. It's much more down to earth. Moreover, it comes in the focal lengths and speeds that I want. Yeah, I could go shoot 95% of the things I want to shoot with a, a 24-2 and an 85-1.4. I have a full array of glass, but those are my go-to lenses. Multiple frame noise reduction is a very clever way of removing noise. The camera shoots multiple frames, and within the camera, it removes all of the noise. The results are really impressive. There's nothing worse than having to wait because your camera's buffering, because it's writing pictures before you can shoot more of them. Uh, the, you know, the A99 is really fast, and uh, the, you know, the buffering has been amazing so far. I've always been torn with autofocus, because up until now I've never really liked it. When you see people using it, they're always composing, and then to get the autofocus dot in the right place, and then recomposing, which is just not, not the recipe for shooting. Uh, good images. So the A99 has this, this autofocus that finds heads and it follows those heads wherever they go. For me, as someone who shoots a lot of people, 85% of the time that works for me. For the first time, I, I actually trust autofocus. The A99 can shoot with six frames a second and be autofocusing the entire time. Spending my whole life looking through an optical viewfinder, it took a little bit of time to get used to the OLED, but once I did, I realized it gave me two hugely important benefits. First, it allowed me to shoot in low light and actually see what I was shooting. And second, it allows me to look through a viewfinder for the very first time while shooting motion on a DSLR. As a photographer, I always want to be able to shoot pictures, like always. I cannot shoot pictures in, in light that my brain has trained me that I can't even shoot that. But because of the EVF viewfinder in combination with extreme sensitivity of the sensors in combination with things like auto HDR, I can shoot pictures where I just couldn't have before. And that, you know, anything that expands the range of places or environment you can shoot in, I'm, I'm all in, I want it. The A99 has two SD slots built into the camera. This allows me to simultaneously record the same image to two separate cards. I can have my images backed up before I get back to my hotel at night. It's fun to use a feature that allows you to play. One of the things that the A99 has that I really love is the sweep panoramic mode. You basically hold the camera and you sweep it across the horizon and it shoots frames and then seamlessly stitches them together in the camera so you get these giant panoramics. I've been using this to shoot inside buildings to convey the vast space and also of course landscape. Such a fun feature to use in landscape. You can quickly switch into picture effect mode which allows you to choose um, a whole bunch of different effects from sepia tone to soft focus to toy camera. I really love miniature mode, which basically allows you to shoot 4x5 or tilt-shift-like images within the camera. Faces never get old as a photographer. Never. It's, it just continually amazes me how it's the faces over time that stay with me and stay in my memory. Now, even though sometimes I feel like I'm shooting them the same way, it doesn't matter to me because I think there's this endless fascination with connecting with people's eyes. Like the flamenco dancer, it has a hypnotizing quality on people. And, you know, to be able to shoot that in both stills and in moving images has been really interesting. <laughs>